water signs. How you guys doing? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see where we go. This is your weekend reading. The earth sign reading was kind of a bigger reading than a weekend reading, but let's see where we go with you. <laughs> All right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hope you all are doing well. Hope you all are doing well. Um, next week, we are going to be doing a North Node Q&A session. I'm going to be putting up some videos this weekend that are uh, all about the North Node, which is your mission and path. I got so many uh, nice notes and requests. I put up a, a video on Monday about the North Node moving into Taurus and Scorpio. It's really about your life and mission and path and also being activated toward that. So go on back and check out that video from Monday. And then this weekend, I'll be putting up some more videos about that. Some of you know North Node is my thing. So uh, that's how I figured out how to start this YouTube channel. So I am passionate about the North Node. So let's see where we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around these energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. That's a lot of shuffling. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right. Woo! Starseed. Awesome. Fantastic. Every cycle is a higher opportunity. Sorry about my fingernails. Uh, you contain the entire universe encoded within you. Yes, you do. This is speaking to some of you who are... Um, likely completing a mission either with a person or a job or career or something like that you're definitely uh, aligned with like okay things are changing you know you might have been able to uh, uh, ignore it for a while but as a star seed um, you have been planted on this earth and you wake up at the appointed moment I feel like some of you are waking up right now if you're watching tarot readings you're you're awake so <laughs> and this is directly maybe i'll read the uh, star seed um part of this little book this little deck that i have that heather hines gave me she is one of our pathfinder group thank you heather uh the cosmic journey oracle i love it so i'll read you that star seed let me lay out the reading first though here uh, five of wands underneath page of cups eight of wands eight of swords that's interesting six of pentacles four of cups ten of cups two of cups temperance mm -hmm. world all right so new information is coming in it may start small it may be a message coming in that you kind of don't even really notice uh but it's here to break up your stuck mindset about something okay you might have some ideas about things that are a little bit you know need needing uh new insight or needing new information and i feel like that's what's coming in i feel like your guides are trying to get your attention there's a little bit of resistance here. Five of Wands and the Four of Cups. A little bit of resistance, but I feel like by stepping into helping other people or connecting to um, a true love, I feel like you m might feel like nothing's going on, nothing's going on, and all of a sudden you're connected to a true love here. Okay, so let me read this star seed. It's like you're being activated or something along those lines. Let's see. This is also an eight card. So lots of eight energy, those of you who take, have taken my numerology class, the eight energy is the energy of industry, of putting in time and effort. So um, this is the Starseed card, attributes, entelechy, soul, blueprint, seed, expansion, and gifts. Wow. All right. I'm gonna, about to be doing uh, reading your spiritual blueprint class. Uh, it is about the seeds that are planted along the path of your life that show up. And so you can see what your spiritual path is. Okay. Spiritual blueprint. The right seeds always bloom. Just as an acorn is blueprinted to grow into a mighty oak tree, you too carry the seed of the universe within you, ready to spring forth. The word entelechy means the fullest realization of a thing. And that's what you have within you. 
It's like your highest self guiding you to thrive in the greater mythic story unfolding. Your star seed has been planted, or more accurately, planeted <laughs> here on Earth for a reason. Invoke your entelechy to hear more. So what your a little journal exercise for you, what have I been seated to do? What else can I do to nourish and water my own star seed? What are the seeds I've already planted that are ready to spring forth? What is my role in the mythic story unfolding? What greater gifts can I activate now? Where is my true home? How can I activate my cosmic DNA? So that's what we're working on here. And it does feel to me like there's something, there's information coming through about what we're talking about here, but it's, um, it has fallen on deaf ears a little bit. You might have been resistant to it, or you might have had it come through in a way that you just didn't notice it. And likely you aren't noticing it because there, you might be really focused on a relationship from the past. You might be really focused on something and not seeing the new gift coming in. Um, this could have to do with a relationship um, from the past that had to do with third party. I'm also seeing a three here. Some third party connection. Now this is like a, a small piece of this, but it's like, there's a reason for that. There's a reason that the person that you were connected with, there was a third entity. There's a reason for it. And I feel like it, it's a seed to wake you up to what kind of love really is going to feed you, feed your soul. Uh, what kind of relationship is really the one you want? It's kind of showing you a lower vibration. So let's move into something better. And I feel like some of you might be resisting that a little bit. So I'm getting this five of wands and the eight of swords. Empress, queen of cups, ace of wands, justice, and the ace of swords. Wow. Okay. So this previous connection that has, you know, it's, it's almost like you were connected to somebody who was too lower vibe, too small for you. This person was too small for you. And, you know, the, the Empress and the Queen of Cups here makes me feel like you're elevating from Queen of Cups into Empress. You're seeing it. You're seeing your path forward, the Ace of Swords, your truth. You're being inspired to move forward. And I feel like there's something here about balance, something here about things need to be in balance. This old relationship may have had you running yourself ragged. It may have been so much work or, you know, you were feeding this other person, you were taking care of them emotionally, spiritually, physically, whatever. And, you know, it was a drain. Okay. It was a drain. And so now like the, the universe is bringing in the new thing. The universe is bringing in the new thing. Could be a Sag. All right. I do see Sag here. I see Taurus and Libra. Sag, Taurus, Libra. And so uh, it's likely that, that that person, that kind of person is coming in. Um, I, I, it's so interesting. Like, why aren't you seeing this? All right. Like, why aren't you seeing this? Three of Cups. Three of, okay. So there's definitely third party here. Three of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. All right. So it's likely that the old relationship or the old situation made you comfortable. It was like a comfort zone thing. And this new situation is going to push you out of your comfort zone. And you have not wanted this. I'm not interested in this. I don't want this. So all this time, there may have been some resistance around it. But now I feel like the universe is changing up um, the tactic. Okay. So first of all, you're coming alive. Your spiritual path is coming alive. And that's going to open you up. Second of all, you're going to feel squashed in this old thing and you're going to like want to expand and want to grow and you're going to want to put that. So it's almost like you're being inspired to move to this next level. In the past, there might have been challenges and stuckness and all of these things and you didn't see that as a trigger for movement. And 
So the universe is like, all right, changing tactics. We're going to now inspire you. We're going to now get you excited about something new. So <laughs> the universe, every cycle is a higher opportunity, right? The universe is saying, all right, so that didn't work. And it might've been a cycle where um, there was a lot of fear or there was a lot of resistance from, you know, people in your family, in your life, your friends, like, I can't move out of this because we're just too entrenched in this life or something like that. I can't leave this job because X, Y, and Z. But now there's, it's not the stick, it's the carrot. Now it's like the, I'm, now I can see I'm going towards something. Now I, I'm not just walking away from something. I don't want to just walk away from something without knowing where I'm going. So this is giving you a, a, a path forward and it's opening you up to, you contain the entire universe encoded within you. This is going to be very inspirational, walking through a portal to a new kind of life. All right. This is, and, and the universe is finally going, oh, all right. So they're not motivated by pain. I'm going to motivate them by desire and interest and, and, um, inspiration. All right. I like that better. I don't like fear, <laughs> right? I don't like that fear. So let me, let me read you this. Um, you contain the entire universe encoded within you. Let me read you that. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're a proud card carrying member of the galactic library of infinite records and deeds. You contain all the information of the universe encoded within you and ready to be checked out at any time without any pesky overdue fees. Our galactic emergence and ascension were predicted by so many cultures and mythologies. This is the time and you are the one you have been waiting for. It starts with one, you. The entire universe is holographic. What you do to evolve yourself evolves the cosmic story so that it can be recorded in the stacks and folios of the future. What choice would you want to make now knowing the ripples of impact you'll have? Huh. All right. So it's kind of like you have shifted from a very earth-based, this is a real ascension story. You've shifted from an earth-based um, kind of, you know, 3D, experience into something way more inspirational for yourself. And all you really had to do was kind of open up to it. So that's, what's going to be happening. Oh my God. All right. This is a bigger reading than the, the weekend reading too. The earth sign reading got the same thing. So I'm going to be looking at Taurus and Libra and Sag. If you're dealing with any of those signs, uh, the fire sign here, seems to be the inspirational one, but we'll see where we go. Okay. All right. If you want to continue on, the link is below. If this is your reading, the links to the classes and stuff like that are also below. See you over there.